E. coli bacteria inhabit the intestinal tract of humans and warm-blooded animals. Most strains of E. coli do not cause disease in humans, but toxic serotypes like O157H7 can cause illness and death. Symptoms such as abdominal pain and severe cramps, followed within 24 hours by diarrhea, often bloody, begin three to four days after ingestion. Prompt medical attention can reduce serious complications. Ask your healthcare provider to take a stool sample. Document what you have eaten in the past 72 hours. The incubation period for Listeria ranges from 3 to 70 days. A person may develop fever, muscle aches, nausea, or diarrhea. If infection spreads to the nervous system, symptoms such as headache, stiff neck, confusion, loss of balance, or convulsions can occur. Pregnant women may experience a mild flu-like illness, but infection during pregnancy can lead to miscarriage. A blood or spinal fluid test is required to test for listeriosis. Invasive infections with listeria can be treated with antibiotics. Shigella is a bacterium that causes diarrhea, fever, and stomach cramps. Shigella is spread by direct contact with feces from an infected person, even in microscopic amounts, or by eating contaminated food or water. Symptoms may start as soon as 12 hours after exposure, or as late as three days after exposure. 20% of the nearly 50,000 cases of shigellosis that occur annually in the U.S. are foodborne related. Antibiotics can shorten the duration of the illness. Hepatitis A is a vaccine-preventable disease that is transmitted either through person-to-person -person contact or contaminated food or water. Symptoms typically begin about 28 days after infection, but can show up as early as 15 days or as late as 50 days after exposure. Symptoms may include headache, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, abdominal discomfort, fatigue, joint pain, dark urine, clay-colored stool, and fever. Jaundice, a yellowish discoloration of the skin and whites of the eyes, occurs in most cases. Campylobacter is a common bacterial cause of illness in humans. It grows in the intestines of birds and mammals. Symptoms include bloody diarrhea along with nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, headache, and muscle pain. Symptoms usually dissipate after one week, though in severe cases, long-term consequences such as Guillain-Barre syndrome may occur. If you experience any of the symptoms, seek medical care and ask your healthcare provider to take a stool sample. Also, document what you've eaten in the past 72 hours. Norovirus, commonly called the stomach flu, are estimated to cause 23 million cases of acute gastroenteritis in the U.S. each year. Norovirus infects humans through person-to-person -person transmission or contamination of food or water. Norovirus illness usually develops 24 to 48 hours after ingestion of contaminated food or water. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, headache, and fever. Symptoms last one to two days. However, norovirus can become quite serious in children, the elderly, and immune-compromised individuals. Salmonella sickens 1.4 million people in the U.S. yearly. Salmonella can be found in undercooked meat, poultry, eggs, or unpasteurized dairy products, and foods contaminated during harvest, production, or packaging. Symptoms begin 6 to 72 hours after consumption and include diarrhea, abdominal cramps, fever, nausea, and vomiting. Dehydration is a concern, especially in the elderly and young children. Ask your healthcare provider to take a stool sample. Document what you have eaten in the past 72 hours. <laughs>